Welcome to the AllPlan Quick Start Lesson 3. Before entering a 3D model, a couple of basic calculations are usually carried out in everyday planning. In the case of AllPlan Quick Start, we'll practice this using the example of importing a site plan. To do this, we open the Quick Start project in AllPlan that you installed from the Quick Start website. You haven't loaded and installed the AllPlan Quick Start project data yet? No problem. We can always easily reach the AllPlan Quick Start website from the AllPlan Welcome dialog. In the Welcome dialog, click on First Steps and the AllPlan Quick Start project data will be available for you to download on the website that then opens. In the Quick Start project, let's open the building structure by clicking on Open on a project-specific basis. You can see that this is set up similarly to the practice building structure that we created in Lesson 2. We also see a site here and a building on the site. Within the building, you can also see the storage again here. And in this example, I also created a structural level for the foundations and one for the terrace. Above and below the building, I created additional structural levels. Above one for general, and below one for the import of files that I may import externally into my AllPlan project in the course of the project processing. These may be files from the surveyor or from planning partners, or even be manufacturer data that, for example, is available in IFC, DWG, or DXF format. Since we would like to import a site plan, I open my import structural level. I would like to open the drawing file with the number 500 and ensure that all other drawing files are switched off. I do this by double clicking on the number or the name of the drawing file 500. The site plan PDF file was also installed during the installation of the Quick Start project and is located in the Quick Start project in a separate subfolder. To open this, click on New Project Open Project and if you now highlight the Quick Start project, you will be shown further below where on your computer the Quick Start project was stored. Use the right mouse button to click on this path and select Open in Explorer. I end the All Plan dialog. I bring the Windows Explorer back to the front and open the Quick Start subfolder. Now click on the PDF file called SitePlan.pdf Keep the left mouse button pressed and simply drag and drop the file onto the AllPlan drawing surface in your drawing file 500. AllPlan will notice that you would like to import a PDF file onto the drawing file, will start the import dialog and offer various setting options. Confirm the dialog with OK and the PDF will be imported onto the drawing file 500. At this point, I will give you a couple of tips about zooming and moving in an all-plan design window. For example, to zoom in on the plot number 811, simply hold the cursor over the number and use your mouse's scroll wheel. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and back out of the drawing. The zooming always occurs where your cursor is located. If you would like to see the entire drawing again, Either press F5 on your keyboard or select Zoom All from the window toolbar. Alternatively, you can also double click on your mouse's scroll wheel. You can also use your mouse to easily move the entire drawing view. To do this, hold down your mouse's scroll wheel and move the mouse in the desired direction. The Element Info is another very useful feature in AllPlan. In my case, you can see it below the cursor here. It always appears when you hold or move the mouse over already drawn elements in the drawing file. The Element Info informs you in real time about the type of element over which you are currently holding the cursor, 
and, if you like, offers a few other often important pieces of information about the respective element. For example, it offers information about the format properties used, the layer or the drawing file on which the element was drawn. And, as I said, to view this information, you don't have to do anything more than move the mouse over an element. You are therefore always immediately informed of basic information in your model while working in Allplan. The element info in your Allplan may look differently than it does for me here. This is because you can customize the element info entirely as you wish. For example, would you like to not see any information about the display sequence of your elements in the element info? To do this, I simply start the Option dialog. On the left side, select Activation. And for Select Details to be displayed, I remove the checkmark for Sequence. After closing the dialog by pressing OK, the element info has been adapted to my preferences. In the next lesson, to be able to start with the modeling of the basement based on the site plan, we will switch the basement drawing file to be active in the next step and store the imported site plan. For this purpose, open the building structure with Open on a project-specific basis, click in the small square on the far left in front of the site plan, then open the building and the basement here. Then click on the right square for the basement practice drawing file. You will have noticed that the small square in front of the site plan drawing file is shown in grey and the square in front of the basement practice drawing file is shown in a red colour. What do these squares mean and what do the colours mean? Quite simply, the squares and colours indicate the drawing file status. If you can see the red square, this means that this is the active drawing file here. Elements and components that you now create will only be created on this drawing file. Of all the drawing files that you have in your building structure here, always only one can be active. There is no exception to this rule. Red means active. If the middle yellow square can be seen in front of a drawing file, then this means that these drawing files are in edit mode. You can modify, copy, move and delete the contents on these drawing files in the design windows. One or more drawing files can have this yellow status at the same time. Yellow means in edit mode. And so it's actually pretty clear what the grey drawing file status means. If a drawing file has the grey status, then you can view the contents of this drawing file but not modify them. This status is perfectly suited for storing elements and components that are not to be modified. Grey means passive. To be able to model on the basement practice drawing file in the next lesson, we make the drawing file with the number 111 active and the drawing file with the number 500, on which the imported site plan is located, passive. Ensure that both structural levels, that is basement and import, each have the check marked in the checkbox so that the structural levels are activated. Click Close to exit this step. After importing the site plan, we will cover the creation of the basement in the next lesson.